In March of 2015 was a transforming moment in my life. I was currently two months out from graduation and I was looking to go to a community college for business school. I didn't really have any plans to go to Bible college or really think about going to Bible college at that point. I had my own plans for my life. I was serving God, but I wanted to go to business school, make money, and live my own life. Then one night I went to a mission service and my plans completely changed. God had uh, led me to go on a TLC trip to, to the Amazon, well, eventually the Amazon. And my world was turned upside down, or at least my own plans and my own ideas were. I immediately started to get the word out about what I wanted to do and um, started trying to raise the money that I needed since it was only two months before the teams would actually leave. I, I still needed over $2,000 and to buy a plane ticket to come to Florida and to uh, get everything ready to go. And so there was a lot to do and I could not see how it was possible for this to work out. Well, God orchestrated everything. He uh, led people to give to my trip and within the two months, I had all my money raised and I was ready to go. When the trip came, I had never been on a mission trip before. I hadn't had any mission experiences. Throughout my teen life, I had loved missions and I had been to several mission services and I'd even given to missionaries, but never in my life did I dream that I would be called to be a missionary. Well, that trip to the Amazon in the summer of 2015, I was called to be a missionary. And I was called to Hope Sound Bible College through TLC and through my trip and my journey to the uh, Amazon. I immediately got back from that trip, applied to go to Hope Sound Bible College, and was accepted. I had never gotten much out of my comfort zone and was a little bit shy when I first came to school. I didn't really know a lot of people down here. I had a couple friends from church, but I was really forced to be out of my comfort zone and I had a lot of opportunities with mission work here in Hope Sound. I had FEA ministries and I had daily, uh, on a daily basis, I rubbed shoulders with other missionaries and got the opportunity to talk to them. I was immediately excited because I could see what God was doing in my life at that point. He was leading me and directing me through Hope Sound and through FEA and through all the ministries here on campus to be a missionary and he had given me all the tools right here. And so I um, was able to go on my second missionary a journey that fall to Guatemala with the mission department at Hope Sound, which takes um, mission trips on a yearly basis. So it was the still the fall of 2015, and I had gotten back from my mission trip to Guatemala, and once again I was reminded of why God called me to missions, and I felt His calling more strongly in my life at that point. The year continued. Yes, I had some difficulties, and I had some moments where maybe I didn't feel like I was supposed to be at Hope Sound. But whenever God calls you to something, the devil tends to fight. And I found that out within the next year. I decided the next summer in 2016 to go on a mission trip to the Amazon. I felt like I was supposed to go back to the Amazon. And so I raised my funds and I went back to the Amazon. While we were in the Amazon, we were able to do some teaching and some preaching and some VBS ministries, which I thoroughly enjoyed doing. And I felt like that was something God had laid on my heart, part of my mission work. It was the second week of the trip that I began to get really sick. I had had some early signs the couple months before of just some low moments where I felt like maybe my sugar was low. So we um, didn't really think anything too much of it. But I got really ill and on a walk with some of the pastors in the Amazon, I passed out. They, we were in a village, a touristic village, thankfully, in the heart of the Amazon jungle, and they took me to a clinic there where they um, immediately started doing work and testing and couldn't figure out what was the problem. Well, I was having these spells, and so they sent me from the village to the hospital in Leticia, where my blood pressure had spiked to 230, and they couldn't get it down for almost three days. So they kept me in the hospital still not being able to figure out what was going wrong. I came back from that trip to the States. They got me at a level to where I was stable enough to continue the trip and then come home. Um, weeks and months had went by and I was still having these, these issues, these problems. 
and the doctors in the states, many doctors that I was seeing, hospitals that I would stay at, could not figure out what in the world was going on. I had started having seizures almost on a weekly basis. So I was starting to see some results from the medications they were giving me and I was able to come back to Hope Sound and I was hoping that maybe here in Florida they would be able to help me a little bit more than where I live and where I'm from in Ohio. And about a couple weeks into school I started having seizures even more frequently. Sometimes it was every day, sometimes it was every other day. And the medicines and the medications they were giving me didn't seem to help. I went to every doctor that I could think of or at least find in the area that would accept me. I went to a big hospital in Miami and they didn't have very many answers to give me. One thing was certain was there was something wrong and they couldn't figure it out. In my hospital stay in Miami University was where they first diagnosed me and told me that I had cystic sarcosis which is a parasitic disease that you can get in many countries, but mainly in South America. What had happened was the parasite had gotten in through my right ear and was in an egg and got into my brain and it formed a cyst in one of my blood vessels that, and it was causing me to have seizures. I continued my whole year in 2016 to 2017 at Hope Sound Bible College, mainly because the people here and the community here helped me through everything and was uh, very willing to do whatever it took to help me continue my schooling and continue my calling and help me get the help that I needed for the parasite. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do a whole lot here in the States because it wasn't something that they had seen very commonly. At least that's what the doctors that I had seen were telling me. This past summer in 2017, I went on a mission trip to Peru. Uh, just a couple months prior to that, I was taking uh, some natural supplements and I felt like God had healed me of what uh, the parasite was from natural supplements that I was taking. I went to a parasite doctor and he told me that I was completely free. In fact, he had told me that it was a miracle that I had no parasite as to what he could tell. I went to Peru that summer because I felt like that I should continue missions and I should continue doing what God had called me to do even though I was going through all these uh, problems with the parasite. I went to Peru and found out a little bit more information and found out that they knew exactly what they were doing with the parasite and so I knew that I could go back there if I never needed help. In December of 2017 I went on another trip to Peru to receive treatment for the parasite and for the uh, problems that I was having and it was actually a trip that I just got back on and I can tell you that it was a successful trip because they were able to um, help me get a lot further down the road with my problem and help me to start on a, a path that should heal me within the next four or five months. I feel blessed to be the president of the Intercultural Studies Department where I have gotten leadership training and experience and where I'm able to go with a team this week to New York City to minister to the homeless people, pass out tracts from the streets, and do what God has called all of us to do, which is to share the gospel with those who have never heard. So through all of the problems that the parasite calls me, and though at times it has felt uncertain about my future, and at times I have wondered what was going to happen, I've remained here at Hope Sound, where I've I've been able to continue my schooling and continue my calling and I feel like that God has helped use these situations and has uh, brought me a little bit out of my comfort zone so I have a testimony to share and that I can continue on with my mission experience here at Hope and continue on with my career to be a missionary and I'm thankful that he has allowed me to come to Hope Sound and he has put the people that he has here in my life that have helped me and shaped me to the person that I have become because now I am more than ever on fire to do what he has called me to do and to be a missionary and to fulfill his desire and his will for my life.